I got nothing clever to say. Nothing. Really? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing at all? No. Nope. Aloha snack bar? No. I got Anything? Nothing. Really? Nothing at all. No. Really? It's happened. That's all happened. right. If this is the case, he's got nothing. I got nothing. Why are we here? Well, first of all, welcome to the Bearded Life, and we are... The Bearded Brothers. And we are here to do something a little, little different. A little different. I mean, not really all that different. We're still diving into well, the Well, as you world. can see, there's nothing in front of us right now. Oh, my God. How did that happen? Uh, no. We are going to do something... Listen, we know most of the people who watch us are fully headfirst into the beard world already. We understand mm -hmm. that. Okay. But our ultimate goal is not just to reach you guys, but it's to reach the folks out there who are thinking about getting into the beard world, who know that it's out there, but they haven't quite reached out and grabbed that beard oil off the shelf yet. And if I can, I can convince them not to grab it off the shelf, but to go online and order it from somebody better. But <coughs> still, um, so we're going to do a series of videos lending our I guess our knowledge, that's kind of scary. <laughs> our knowledge to the non-bearded folk out there or the newly bearded or the newly bearded minted world or the newly bearded, non-bearded, once were bearded and now are bearded again and they want to use beard oil world. Did that, that make any good. sense? Was that, that good? Was good? That was good? Okay. That was good. I was trying. I was going for something there. I don't know what the hell I was going for, but... <laughs> It works. I was going for something. So, beard oil, right? Over here, we've got a plethora of oils. And my brother here will grab a few real quick. We'll show you a few different ones here. As you can see, beard oil comes in all shapes, sizes. Give me a few different sizes or something, okay. dude. Stop just handing me things in a line. Comes in all shapes, sizes, forms, amazingness. Look at that. That's so cool. Beard oil comes in many forms, shapes, sizes. It even comes in a different form of oil, if you will. It comes in a damn jelly, okay? It's beard oil, just a little bit thicker. But it comes in a jelly. So, if you're standing in the store right now, and you're looking at that section, and you're going, what in the holy hell is beard oil? You should be watching the Bearded Brothers right now, and you'd know what the hell beard oil is. There you go. Beard oil is, in all technicality speaking, not for your beard, okay? I mean, it is, but it's not. It's more so for the skin under your beard. It helps take care of that. It helps soften, nourish. It helps get rid of the beard drift, things like that, okay? I'm not good with scientific definitions. So if you want to know what, you know, Google says... I don't know why I did the quotation things. Google's real. <laughs> but if you want to know what Google says about beard oil, the Google reader will tell you. Beard oil is a cosmetic product that is used to nourish the skin under the beard, as well as the beard itself, in order to keep it shiny, soft, and smooth. Beard oil mimics the natural oils produced by skin, such as sebum, 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 sebum. <laughs> so, so, okay, we're not going to go into what it sounds like, but <laughs> and compose and compose mainly of carrier oils and essential oils. All right, yeah, exactly. So, in almost all your beard oils, you're going to see a combination of your carriers and your essential oils. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we have had some come across here, like Zobarhar, yep. and a few others who just do one or two carrier oils, and that's that. Yep. Okay, um, some of your carrier oils, just to run them off the top of the head here real quick. You've got argan, castor, jojoba, almond, uh, avocado, grape you've seed. got grapeseed, meadow foam seed, you've got, I mean, here. We've actually had one person use orange peel oil. Yeah, I mean, sunflower seed, coconut, I mean, there's all, you know, coconut oil, there's all kinds of carriers out there there's all kinds of essential oils out there and they all serve different purposes which is why i've always been a big proponent of having different companies because for the most part and this isn't uh across the board statement because some companies 
do switch it up from oil to oil, the different carriers they'll use. Yeah. But for the for quite a bit, most companies, once they find that carrier blend that they like, they'll keep that carrier blend and just kind of change up the essential oils or their fragrance oils, if you will, to get a different scent. Yep. So I enjoy using different companies <coughs> because I enjoy getting a different balance of carrier oils in my beer. Because all these carrier oils are amazing for your skin and for the things they can do for your beard. Okay. Now, first thing we're going to tell you is this. If you are sitting there saying, I'm going to buy beard oil to style my beard. Stop it before I slap you. <laughs> Some beard oil might give you a little bit of hold. Okay. Very minimal hold. It's not going to give you a whole lot of hold. All right. Beard oil is not meant for styling. It is meant for conditioning, nourishing, and taking care of your beard. It is meant to promote thicker, healthier, fuller growth, okay? And it's also meant to make your beard nice and shiny. And yes, I want my beard to be shiny, so shut up, all right? You, right there. I see you smirking. You don't got a beard, so shut up, all right? So real quick, all these carrier oils, everything else... We're just going to run down a few of them and some of the things they can do for your beard and for the skin, okay? And just show you how amazing these products really are, okay? So one of the biggest ones you'll see in the beard world is jojoba oil. I don't think we've seen too many oils out there without jojoba oil I'm in it. I'm pretty sure we've come across... We've, we've come, come across, across a them, few. But not many. But not many. Jojoba oil is one of the mainstays in the beard world and for very good reasons okay now once again i gotta go to my notebook a bit here because this guy don't work all the time when i want him to all right jojoba oil softens facial hair skin and hair it is non-allergenic um so non-allergenic and non i can't remember the word right now but it doesn't block up the pores it actually promotes fuller healthier growth as well it is amazing for your skin and for your beard, all right? That's why jojoba is such a mainstay in the community because it is such an amazing carrier oil to put into any beard oil product you're making, okay? And just so you can see here, yeah, that's got jojoba oil. Uh, yep, yeah, jojoba oil. Uh, uh-huh, jojoba oil. <laughs> and yep, yeah, jojoba oil. So, jojoba is a big mainstay in the community. You'll see it in most products, and for good reason, okay? Other ones you'll see quite often, well, you've got argan oil. Argan oil is packed with vitamin E. It repairs dry skin and hair and promotes healthier beard growth, okay? That does not mean that these are going to make you grow a beard quicker. No. It means that it's going to help grow a thicker, fuller, healthier beard, Okay? So it's just going to make your beard look better and feel better is what they're trying to tell you. All right. That's the other thing. Don't go out there buying a beard oil and think, oh, I bought beard oil. I'm going to grow a beard in two days now. If, if that was true, I'd have a beard down to my feet right now. Okay. It would be ridiculous. Doesn't work that way, folks. Okay. There are certain things out there that can help promote growth. Maybe even help excel things a little bit if you're lacking in certain areas, like if you're biotin deficient or something like that. You take something with heavy biotin in it, it can help you with hair growth. Not beard growth, hair growth. So all your hair is going to grow faster, okay? But beard oil is amazing for you because of all these products in it. I mean, look, castor oil, okay? Helps make your beard thicker, fuller, shinier, period. Castor oil is a thicker oil, and it just makes the beard, it's very, I mean, I have castor oil in right now, boys and girls. Don't I look pretty? Tell me I look pretty. No. <laughs> no. Uh, avocado oil, I don't think I need to break down why avocado is good for you at this point. It's like okay. a super fruit, man. But if you want to know why it's good for your skin and for your beard... Okay, it's packed with vitamins A, D, and E. The oil pumps up the uh, collagen production and 
gives your beard once again a fuller, healthier appearance. Okay? Just trying to show you that this isn't like some weird little bottle that does nothing for you. These products are good for you. And if you're going to get into the beard world, if you're thinking about growing a bigger beard or if you're thinking about growing a beard for the first time, beard oil, if you don't want to do nothing else, beard oil should be your foundation. Okay? It should be the core. When I was getting him into the beard world, first thing I told him, get a beard oil. Beard oil is everything. Okay? It is... I use my beard oil twice a day. I like to put it in when I first get up. When I you know, get up, get showered, all that good stuff. Get out the shower, throw some beard oil in, make the beard feel good, all that good stuff. And then I like to put it in before I go to bed. That way when I wake up, my beard is still nice and soft and ready for the day. Also a little butter, but we'll get into butter another day. Um, one last oil we want to tell you about real quick, and my brother will take this one. Um, it's almond oil. Almond oil. Again, these are these. We're not telling you that these oils are going to be in every single product you ever hold, but these are five oils that we've come across the most. Yep. In uh, the products that we've reviewed and the products that we've had the pleasure of testing out for these companies. So almond oil is rich in vitamin E, potassium, zinc, and protein. And Monounsaturated fatty acids. These properties are beneficial for increasing beard growth, eliminating dandruff, and reducing inflammation. It is also a very light oil, which is great for facial hair. So, again, if you're out there and you're standing in the store right now and you're thinking to yourself, man, I see these beard products everywhere. What is beard oil? Essentially, beard oil is the key. It is the foundation to growing a thicker, healthier beard. And in reality, this community, this beard world, if you get into it the right way, it can be the key to growing a thicker, healthier, fuller you. I take better care of myself right now because I want my beard to look good. Yeah. That's just the reality. I never drank water. I drink water constantly now because it's good for your beard. Keeps things hydrated. Keeps you feeling good. You know what I mean? I stopped drinking soda. I drink. I take multivitamins now because of my beard. Yep. Like, that's just the reality. This community has changed me a bit. I've lost 28 pounds. I don't even know how I did it. It was the beard. It had to be the beard. I'm just going with the beard at this point because I got no other explanation. So I'm just going to say that the beard and its magnificence just went and threw it away. That's it. It's gone. I don't know where the hell it went or how I lost it or what happened. All I can tell you is that since I've started using beard products and since I've started taking a closer look at things, I feel better overall. Okay? And it's not just the... I mean, I've changed the kind of soap I use, the kind of deodorants I use. Everything I use has changed because of the beard world. So, if you're thinking about beard oil, should you use it? Absolutely. Don't even think twice, man. Like I said, you don't even need a big beard. Whatever. Beard oil is good for the skin, period. Okay? It is amazing. My daughter takes ones that she likes, and she puts a few drops on the top of her head and brushes it in because it smells good. And guess what? There's no harm in it. They're all natural for the most part. Make sure you read your ingredients. Okay? Don't, I don't want anybody going and saying right. the bearded brother said it was fine to drop some stuff in your head when it's not. Read your ingredients. If it's got, you know, jojoba oil, argan oil, castor oil, avocado, it's fine. If it's got a bunch of stuff you can't pronounce, I do not advise putting it in your hair. Caparillic, capric triglyceride. Okay. Dye number 45. So once again, if you're thinking about trying out beard oil, we highly, highly recommend that, obviously. I mean, if you're going to do nothing else with the beard world, grab you an oil, try it out. I guarantee you your beard well, thank you for it, and you will feel the difference very quickly in your beard, okay? And if you get one that smells good, your girlfriend's going to thank you for it too, buddy. That about wraps us up, though. This has been The Bearded Life, and we are... The Bearded Brothers. Go get you some beard oil, boys and girls.